Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to another episode of Daily Motivation, 365 days of consistency, doing the same things over and over again till they become habits. And again, if you're watching live, I appreciate it. If I don't shout you out, it's just because sometimes I can't see your name, uh, but I do appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And if you get a chance to watch this later, even more awesome. And also, um, just a reminder, on June 20th, we have another workshop of Right to Grow Rich. Right to Grow Rich on June 20th. Uh, please register today. I think I got only two free tickets left. Um, I hope so. <laughs> I think two only free tickets left. And also, you can get the free ebook by um, signing on the website. If you go to um, my Instagram page or my Facebook page or message me, I can get you a direct link. Or you can go to thewealthyauthor.com. That's thewealthyauthor.com. Excellent. So today's topic is um, something actually I saw in a movie. Hey, Tara, how's it going? Um, it's actually something I saw in a movie that was really, really, hey, Amy, how's it going? Um, and that, the, that was a quote I saw from a movie. The point is not to win. The point is to endure. And I thought that was very, very powerful because if you think about it sometimes, many of us, our objective is to win. We want to win the game. We want to win in life. We want to win the spouse. We want to win an in income. We want to win in business. And it's very competitive. But sometimes I look through history. I like to read biographies. I'm a big biographer person. And I like to read all the successful people throughout history. And many times, it wasn't a point of winning. It was a point of enduring to the win. You know, I was thinking about uh, somebody like Grant Cardone, been doing this for 30 years. Um, Eric Thomas, 30 years. Les Brown's been doing it for a very long time. Jim Rowan didn't start getting his uh, accolades until years, I mean, well, well into his older years. Same thing for Zig Ziglar. And many people. And I think about, you know, in the good book, you know, Paul had to go through massive things. Um, Peter, hell, Christ, had to go through all these things to reach the ultimate goal. And so when they reached the ultimate goal, it wasn't because they were aiming for the win. They had to keep enduring the punishment. And sometimes I think the universe tests us. I think it does. I truly believe that. It constantly tests us to see how authentic is your dream. How bad do you want it? Because many times you want something, but we're quick to give it away because it's not a deep meaning for us. It's not rooted deeply. And can you really want to trust? Like, so, for example, if I was dating you, would you want me to, to date me if I was wonky? Like, oh, yeah, I could take you or leave you. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I, you know, I could take you here or there. Or do you want me to be the person say, I'm in love with you madly. And I want to be for you with you forever. It's a difference. But the person that wants that dream and says, I don't care whatever I have to do, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to that dream. I feel like the universe says, okay, well, let's test that theory. And what it does, it gives us a plethora of obstacles that gets in our way to remove us from our ultimate goal, just like the people I just listed. But if you look throughout history, Everyone had to go through their trials and tribulation, and some more than others. But the ones that reached the end, the ones that reached the end, it's like nothing in the universe could take away their success. I was talking, uh, listening to T.D. Jakes, where he said years he was, um, and it's not in Texas, but I think, was he from Louisiana, Alabama? He's from Alabama. And for years he was working in the church. They didn't have him preach. They didn't have him do nothing. They just kind of work in the um, in the congregation. And then as he started to preach, he had like three people, four people, five people in his unit. And he said years of driving his beat up car, uh, that didn't have AC in it. The doors were broken, driving back and forth, picking people up, take them to church, preach for a couple of hours, take them back home and then drive home exhausted for years, for years. When I bet you times he, he looked in the sky and said, I don't know I could do this anymore. And I feel like if you reach that point where you look in the sky, you're like, I don't know if I could do this anymore. That's when you're probably the closest. You're probably the closest to the manifestation of the dream that you've been asking for. But it just takes time 
and endurance. Can you endure to the end? Sometimes the point is not to try to be successful. I want to be successful. I think the point sometimes is having the goal and enduring till you complete it. Even when I was looking at Michael Jordan's biography, he kept losing in the playoffs, doubting himself. The media was doubting him, saying, I don't know if a player that could, yeah, he could win the scoring title, but can he win a championship? And it took him years going to hump. The Detroit Pistons beating him every year. But one day he got over the hump. And once he got over the hump, nothing could take it away from him. So when you're going throughout your journey this week, this year, this, this life, always remember that the point is sometimes to endure. To endure. If you ever read the book The Alchemist, it's probably the greatest book about dream chasing if you ever read it. He had to go through many obstacles. He had to keep enduring. Each time he had to keep enduring. Each time he had to keep enduring. Until finally, finally, the levy broke and everything manifested for him. So many people will watch this and they say, well, Rich, I'm going for success, man. I'm going for the win. I'm trying to get it out here. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get, I'm trying, I'm trying to win it. <laughs> and I can't, I can't knock you because that's the attitude um, many people have and I have. But once I start realizing that the point is to be faithful in the endurance. If you could be faithful in the endurance, when everything seems like the sky is completely falling and you could be at ease and at peace, I feel like that's when the manifestations, true, the manifestations are truly come to fruition. Again, this is Daily Motivation. I appreciate you taking your time. Either you agree with me or not agree with me, but either way I feel, this was a successful conversation. Love is love. I appreciate all of you. Namaste.